What's up guys, Houndish here, and today, of course, we saw the return of Trials to Destiny 2. And so in this video, we're going to jump in, talk about how rewards work for Trials, flawless loot, how to get weapons, armor, the associated cosmetics, how the armor glows work, and everything like that. Actually, our flawless run today was a bit of a bizarre one, so I jumped on a friend's account, and this is a friend who has a lot more power than I do. And we were playing, having some fun, we actually lost our mercy at six wins, and then... On our very final game, one of our teammates disconnected as we loaded in. And so we lose the 3v2, but our teammate who disconnected didn't actually take a loss. And so afterwards, he rejoins. We go in for his final game, where we play another team who lose a teammate. So it's 3v2, but in our favor. And we get our third teammate a flawless. So remarkably enough, on one flawless card, where we all had the same type of card... One of three of us actually ended up going flawless, which is pretty bizarre. So, gotta say a big thanks to my friend Jbot for lending me some of his lighthouse footage. Because I didn't actually get to go myself, even though we were on the same team for the entire run. Just giving you a bit of background context right there. But otherwise, we're gonna jump in, talk about how all of the rewards, the flawless lighthouse, and everything works. So, initially right here, not the most interesting part of Trials, but a pretty important one will be the Trials Passages. In the Trials game mode, the objective is to get as many wins as possible, with as few losses as possible. I mean, you have a Trials Passage, of course, if you get three losses, you'll actually be restricted from Trials and you'll have to either reset the Passage or purchase a new one. However, the more wins you can get before that happens, the more rewards that you'll unlock. And of course, ultimately, if you can unlock seven wins with no losses, then you'll be able to go flawless. So there are different options for the Trials Passages you can pick up. Mercy is going to forgive one loss per Trials run, so on a fresh card, when you take one loss, essentially the Mercy will consume the loss, and if you only lose once but win seven matches, you could still go flawless. The Ferocity Passage allows with zero losses for your third win to grant a bonus win, so if you pick this one, you have no Mercy. If you lose a game, you're going to get one red dot, but if you can get all the way to the third game, you'll essentially have four wins instead of just three. And then once you're really confident about going flawless, you can pick up the Passage of Confidence, and it doesn't offer any additional boons, but if you manage to go straight flawless, you can get an additional reward from the flawless chest. And then the Passage of Wealth can increase the amount of Trials tokens you get from completing and winning Trials matches, and the Passage of Wisdom will grant bonus XP from Trials wins, which scales with the number of wins on a ticket. So, of course, if your main focus is to get flawless for the first time or something like that, it probably is going to make sense to use the Mercy Passage, which will forgive one of your losses. For more confident players, of course, you have Ferocity and Confidence, which is going to increase your loot or give you a buff or a boon to how quickly you can actually get a flawless run. And then otherwise, if you want to reacquire gear that you've already picked up in Trials via the Trials Engram, of course, you can farm out tokens with the Passage of Wealth and also use the Passage of Wisdom to get bonus XP gains maybe later on in the season if you've already been flawless, but now you're playing with friends. Of course, that gives you a few different options and benefits for Trials. In terms of how you actually get rewards, though, Essentially, there are three different engrams that you unlock. So when you have a card and you reach three wins on a character for the first time in a week, you'll get a random trials drop of weapons or armor, and that's a tier two powerful drop. Then when you get to five wins, you get another engram drop, which is a tier three. And finally, seven wins will drop pinnacle gear. But these engrams are the primary ways to earn any of the trials rewards for the first time, at least specifically when we're talking about weapons or armor. And the pinnacle drop does come from the lighthouse chest. And so whether you go flawless or not, it is possible to collect the Trials weapons and armor. And then once those items are unlocked, you can randomly acquire them again by turning in the tokens you get from Trials to Saint-14's Trials Engram. It's worth pointing out that any Trials tokens you pick up in a given weekend do need to be spent before Trials goes away at the weekly reset because otherwise you can actually lose those tokens. Also bear in mind the additional bounties you can pick up for Trials. These are going to be useful, of course, for earning XP, Glimmer, but also Valor rank points. So they're totally worth doing, but you get Trials tokens from them as well. Now though, let's speak about Flawless loot specifically. So there are two emblems that you pick up when you first go Flawless. Initially, there is the Flawless Empyrean, but then also Light for the Lost. And both of these emblems have different effects that also work with Flawless Glows. So with the Light for the Lost emblem, if you've been Flawless, you can equip that whenever you're taking other players to the Lighthouse and it'll actually turn the Trials Glow white. So that's pretty cool. But then the Flawless Empyrean, will actually turn the Trials Glow red. And this is for when players are trying to block other players from going to the Lighthouse. So Bungie have added kind of mini objectives to these, but 
Of course, to get the glow at all, you have to have been flawless in a given week. And then for the emblems, Bungie have added stat trackers, so you can actually show off the number of lighthouse carries you've done, or the number of lighthouse shutdowns, which is basically where you have stopped someone else from managing to get flawless, which is pretty rude, isn't it? In terms of equipping the glows to the armor, they simply apply as soon as you equip the relevant emblem and if you've been flawless for the week, so you don't actually have to go into the armor, cosmetics or anything like that. As long as you have the emblem on and you've been flawless, as you can see right here, you will actually get the glow. There are some additional drops though for both flawless trials and match wins, so Firstly, we have the Ghost Shell, which is listed as dropping when you win Trials matches. Haven't actually seen anyone get it just yet, but also from the armor and weapons that we're seeing drop, it seems that there might be kind of a weekly rotation on the loot table. And so next weekend, we could have different featured items for that third, fifth, and seventh win. And so that could be the case for some of these cosmetics as well. But on top of the Ghost Shell, there is also an exotic sparrow that has the potential to drop from the Lighthouse Chest. It isn't a guaranteed item, but it's obviously going to be a pretty rare one. And then there is an emblem that we all seem to unlock after three wins as well. And really that does cover all of the Trials rewards, guys. So I hope these insights into the loot table and how everything actually works have been useful. Pretty cool to get a look at the lighthouse in Destiny 2. I wanted to get this video out right here, but I'm going to jump on and see if we can get another flawless in the bag or an actual first flawless in the bag. But safe to say, man. A player has left your fire team sends a classic chill down my spine. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, a rating is very much appreciated. Have fun if you are jumping into trials. And if you're new around here, be sure to get subscribed so I can keep you up to date with Destiny 2. But otherwise, I hope you have an awesome day.